You're not one of them. You know, one of those Westerners. Th those guys, they're, they're doom posting about everything on this game. But you don't believe in anything that they're saying, right? Yeah, that's right. Come here. I'm gonna show you something, all right? Don't show any of this stuff to them. It's those guys, they're crazy, man. If you show this video to them, they're gonna find me. And they're gonna f Keep this between the wraps between you and me, all right? So this is a graph of five different gacha games and their respective most expensive, permanently available top-up pack. Now these games are the games that all those guys are comparing it to and it's the most relatable for everyone to understand now if you do the calculations out these are the amounts that you would need to pity on each banner assuming that you hard pity on all of them so for instance in wuwa you need 160 asteroids per pole and 160 poles per hard pity totaling to 25,000 asteroids per hard pity all right by taking this number and dividing it by the gem amount that's offered in each of those packs, we get the number of packs we would need to buy in order to pity in each of these games. So then, if we multiply how many packs we need by the cost of each of those packs, what we would get is the total amount of dollars we would need to hard pity in all of these games. And if you take a look at all these numbers, what you're actually gonna notice is that despite all that doom posting and all that backlash that people are throwing around, Stellasaura is actually the cheapest game out of all these options to pity on, all right? Ain't that crazy? Yeah, I know, that sounds impossible though, right? Now most of these guys, if they heard this, they would say it's blasphemy, all right? They would be like, um, actually, you're forgetting. <laughs> Um, actually, you're forgetting to include the better rates and mechanics those games have to make it better than the Stellasaurus system. Er, uh, actually. So in order to account for those 50-50 systems, all I did was take the average between 80 poles and 160 poles and treat that as a new pity number. It's cause like half the time you're gonna pity at 80 and the other half you're gonna pity at 160, right? So you could just take the average between those and then say that that's your new pity. And if you do that, then those systems actually do jump up in value because of their 50-50 system. But here's the crazier thing, all right? Stellasaura has a spark pity mechanic, okay? And that spark pity mechanic basically does the same thing, okay? Because what's gonna happen is that you're gonna spark at 120, but all you have to do is pull 40 more and you get to 160, right? So then you can say that your average is that you get two characters in 160. You know what that means? It means your new average pulls between that is 80. So if you plug that into the model, what you're gonna see is that in this new system, Stellasaurus pricing drops to $176 per pity. And then most of those guys, they bring up the monthly. And they're always like, oh, bro, that monthly only gives you 11 pulls, bro. Even Hoyo likes give 18 pulls for their monthlies. But hear me out, okay? If those guys would think about it, 11 pulls out of 120 versus 18 pulls out of 160 is 9% and 11% respectively, all right? Meaning those games basically give you the same amount per month. They give you 10% of a pity per month. But none of those guys think about it that far, right? Because all they see is that there's 10 poles versus 18 poles and their monkey brains go, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, I can't, I, I'm getting less poles than this game. Uh, I'm getting less poles than my Hoyo games. Uh, this game's shit, bro. This is a fucking scam. You can't fall for that kind of stuff, all right? Also, just to mention the fact that Stellasaurus featured character rate is way better than most of these other games, okay? These are the rates for all these games, okay? And these are the expected amounts that you would need to pull in order to get that. And notice that Stellasaurus is lower than all of them. 
So on top of having a cheaper pity amount, it has better expected rates. And most of these guys out here are just clowning on the fact that it costs 300 per pull. So yeah, these are the numbers and these are the hard facts that show Stellasaur's monetization is not really that bad, okay? But don't go around saying that, okay? If you say that, they're gonna attack you and report you and they're gonna f So just keep it between us, okay? You don't need to say anything to them and we don't need to say anything to them either. Most of those guys, they're gonna leave anyway. They're gonna go play their Ananta. They're gonna go play their Silver Palace. They're gonna go play their Chaos Zero Nightmare, all right? Leave them be, let them go, all right? We're gonna keep our cute and funny trekkers to ourselves and things are gonna get better, all right? Yeah, let's keep it like that, all right? Anyways, I'm gonna go jack off to Virgia now because I need to get started on my next videos. I've been editing way too long on this videos. So I gotta go see my trek. Remember, you didn't hear any of this.